right, so in today's video, we're gonna do another one of the wheel and tire comparisons between Larry and Baby Squat because they pretty much have two complete opposite wheel and tire combos. So before I take them off, we'll just go ahead and check it out. On old Baby Squat, we got the 22 by 12s and 33 1250. And these are Turo Trailblades and Ballistic Rage wheels. So this is obviously one very, very popular style setup that people go for is the bigger wheel, smaller tire. It's not really smaller tire. It's still a 33 inch tire, but it's got a small sidewall. And this has become extremely popular, especially with the deep offset. So, you know, you've got several, several inches right here on a 12 wide. And this is extremely popular. So there's one reason why these get extreme hate because you got this little sidewall, you get up on the curb and it gets your wheel. Whereas the more old school Bubba truck look that some might call it, right here we're rocking the 16 by 10, negative 38. Those are negative 44s, I think I forgot to mention that. 16 by 10, negative 38, ion alloys, and this is a 305 7016 Nitto Mud Grappler. So this is a 33 by like 11, I think, 11 and a half. It's not, it's not the full 33 1250 that the standard size is this is a little bit skinnier but it is supposed to be a 33 we'll measure it of course and see but as you can tell we have like ginormous sidewall we've got all the sidewall all right so you already know i had to put each wheel on the opposite truck to see how it looks and it's interesting i think it would look absolutely insane with the 22s on larry which we're definitely going to get some adapters to make that happen um it, it's sure enough bubba truck status on the uh iron alloys on baby squat so the big black wheels i think look absolutely sick on larry it really kind of goes pretty good with the green i'm not gonna lie obviously it's not bolted up whatever this does have two inch wheel spacers on the front because the front spindle lift does push it out so they would be they would be poking they would definitely be poking and I mean it that that freaking <laughs> that treats me pretty right. Can you picture these on baby squat? Cause I can't really oh my god. <laughs> that does look some kind of bubble truck. They look sick. I uh, definitely can't say that I like that wheel look on this truck. I love it on Larry. Don't necessarily love it on baby squat. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and leave your predictions down below. This one is literally probably not even got a thousand miles on these tires, so they're like brand new tread. I mean, literally like they're they're brand new. And these are probably a solid, these are at least 50% tread, I would say. Um, about 25,000 miles on them, I think. So you can, you can see the comparison, just how big of a, a lug difference is. So that is gonna make a difference. These would be a little bit taller. I don't know if y'all can. I can see definitely a much skinnier mud grappler. I should have washed this thing, dude. Larry, I got to clean Larry up. I really haven't even washed it since it's been on the channel. Not like a good, good wash. Anyways, all right, let's go ahead and start with the Aturo. And it's, you know, the same as always. It's really, it's kind of hard to measure these. Um, it's going to be about 12 and a half. It's 12 inch wide wheel. We'll say 12 and a half on there. All right, and then we line this up best we can that's gonna put us come side to side at about about 12 inches if we go from lug to center lug that puts us in at right at 10 let's check these so the actual lugs pretty close maybe a half inch wider on this which is a supposedly 33 1250 where this is a 305 70. So these videos are never too scientific or too extremely accurate. So we're just, you know, we're just doing things. That is literally perfectly a 33. It's honestly about a 32, maybe a 32 and a quarter. Uh, Turo's run small. This is honestly not much of a bigger tire than what comes on factory as far as height goes. So 305 70 Nitto Mud Grappler. It's a full 33, about 12 inches wide. 33 1250 Aturo Trailblade. It's about 32 and a half to 32 and a quarter, uh, depending on your tread depth. Uh, this probably was a full 32 and a half when it was new. 12 and a half inches wide, accurate on that, about 10 and a half lug to lug. Mosquitoes are already out. This is insane. I'm not putting any weight on it myself. Just getting it on the 
right there so that's probably about 98 pounds that's what i'm reading nearly 100 let's try the old mud grab see if we're surprised or not okay let's get the oh no i can definitely feel way difference just picking it up yeah for sure so it's gonna be about 10 pounds lighter i don't even know if y'all can see I guess I'll move it for this and zoom in. Um, this is right about 90 pounds, so about 10 pounds lighter, small wheel. So what do y'all think? Pretty much exactly what I thought. I mean, you can pretty much pinpoint what the, how they look, you know, before you do any measuring. But as far as the weight goes, typically the bigger the wheel, the more weight, and that was the case here. So actually a pretty light setup. I mean, it is a little bit smaller, skinny-wise tire and a small wheel. Hey, it's a, it's a pretty light setup, about 10 pounds lighter than this, and this is a shorter tire. Um, you know, there's a variables. This isn't extremely accurate. This is just for y'all to see a nice little comparison. I had to throw it up on the front just for, you know, a little comparison. I know they're, they're not under the fin or anything, but that kind of looks sick. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, don't think bullet holes are meant for the new body Silverados. Just not my taste. Maybe they'd look better bolted up there, or maybe an 18 rather than a 16. Uh, 22 by 12s in black on Larry. I think I could 100% uh, get behind. Uh, I, this is my first vehicle. Well, no, I didn't. I bought freaking polished. What am I talking about? I bought American Forces for the freaking Duramax. I was about to say this is the only polished wheels that I've ever. I'm, I'm slipping, dog. Anyways, um, I could definitely see myself rocking some big wide wheels on Larry. That'd be sick. I'm 100% I'm buying some. I was before this, but I definitely am now anyways. Uh, some adapters so I can run all my Chevy wheels on Larry for videos for y'all because that would be sick. I mean, that right there just looks insane. I mean, it, Larry would be a completely different animal with some big wide lip wheels and tires. I really have grown to love my Aturos and I liked them from the beginning when I got them. They reminded me, of course, of like a Toyo MT, which is a good looking tire. I've literally ran mud grapplers on, I think, three of my previous trucks. And dude, you just, they are just amazing. They are literally the most aggressive looking tire ever. They are, I mean, look at them. I, I need to clean them up. I really do. They look insane, though. I think the only thing that even can Pete's closely now is the new Gladiator X comps, which I am absolutely in love with. And I want to get a set for this truck because I think they would look insane. 24s, 35s, Gladiator X comps, that'd look insane. Comment down below if you want to see that. I do want to note one thing that the mud grapplers surprisingly do better. If you notice, the Aturos pick up rocks everywhere, and that's why my truck is completely destroyed by rock chips. Y'all never see it unless you see it in person. It won't show up on camera, but whoop, destroyed. Anyways, the closer lugs, they pick up this si these size rocks, which is your typical gravel stuff. Whereas the mud grabs, they're so spread out, unless rocks get in these, boy, you're set. And they really don't sling gravel. So more reason to run them on a nice truck. However, Nitto just doesn't make the size options that we need. If Nitto made a 33 or a 35 for a 22, I would 100% get it i mean they are missing a huge market if you had a 33 12 50 22 nitto mud grappler they would be everywhere dude there would be so so many people don't touch your mouth with you know what going around i can't say it or i'll get demonetized but i'll touch my mouth i've been germexing y'all stay safe anyways um if they just had a 22 option for a 33 or 35 Dude, they would sell astronomically more. I'm sure that they're such a big company, it doesn't matter. They don't have to cater to us. But it would be so sick to see a company like Nitto. Here, we want 22s. We want 33, 1250, 22. 35, 1250, 22. 24. I don't know if it's something to do with the mud grappler design. Maybe it's because it has such a low, uh, like the, the lugs come so far down on the sidewall. If this was a 33, 1250, 22, You'd be pretty close to the wheel being on the bottom of this. I guess they'd have to do a full redesign, make the sidewall smaller or something, or just have it all the way down to the wheel. That'd look insane. But they're missing a huge market by not catering to the new school big wheel guys. And uh, it stinks because I would definitely run it. But now we got another hour of daylight. The weather's getting good. It's time to get your truck back clean, right? Yeah, Pollen said, no, sir. 
All right, guys, well, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know if it was what you thought or if you were surprised by anything. Definitely leave me some feedback if you wanna see all the Chevy wheels on Larry. And um, definitely get into the little battle in the comment section whether or not you love the old school, small wheel, big sidewall, or the more new school, big wheel, small sidewall. And, uh, you know, battle it out. Let me know what your favorite is. And uh, personally, I love them both. I still always lean to the offset. Uh, I'm gonna quit rambling. Y'all let me know what you think. I will see y'all in the next one. Yeah.